Hi everybody, welcome to week six of Celebrate Wonder. And you are probably right now wondering what I'm doing. Well, this dog right here um, got into the toilet paper and she, she hasn't done it for a long time. She did it as a puppy, but she got in the toilet paper and then I started wondering, you know, it's Celebrate Wonder. So I started wondering, how many of these little squares there are on a roll of toilet paper? And then if it's two ply, does that count as two rolls? Lori, what the heck? You're out here with toilet paper and well, Luna? Well, I followed the dog and then I just got to wondering. You know, cut, oh, sorry, log. Oh, well. He'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was wondering, have you ever wondered? And I mean, it probably varies by brand. <laughs> Have you ever wondered that? Probably not. Well, I don't know. Not no? when it came to dogs. Well, welcome everybody to Celebrate Wonder Week 6. I'm Reverend Meredith Brown. I'm the lead pastor here at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church here with Miss Laurie, our uh, director of children uh, and youth ministries, and Laud, uh, I mean, and Laud the Lamb who took a dive. And then, of course, Luna, Luna the, the boxer who got into the paper toilet bandit, paper. But it's brought up a really good question that I'm really wondering about. Yes. I, I think I would like some more information on counting things. Huh. And numbers of things. Well, I think that we should maybe start exploring that a little bit. Miss Laurie wants to count things. I hope she's gonna be talking about counting blessings and not just toilet paper squares. But in any yes. case, we're really glad that you're here. And um, we want to remind you that if uh, you want to join in our Celebrate Wonder and you haven't received a kit, that uh, just call the church office and we'll get you set up at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. We want to remind you that this week you can pick up your new uh, kit and information. That'll be on Sunday from 1 to 3. And we'll talk about that again in a minute. But we probably should head inside with this What's toilet, toilet paper. paper? Sure. <laughs> yeah, you never pass up good toilet paper these days. <laughs> See you Can't inside. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Laud is here. He's okay. He took a little tumble in our welcome. Yeah, but he's all right. And we've been wondering about a lot of things. But first, we're going to light our candle. I know. Light the candle, not the lamb. Maybe. There we go. We've been wondering a lot about faith and our faith in God and what helps us have faith in God. So take just a minute, think to yourself. How do you show that you have faith in God? Off the top of my head, I think about the Ten Commandments that we try to follow all of the time. We have all of those that we can follow to show that we have faith in God, how we treat one another. Yeah, I think that's a way that we are showing that we have faith in God. He agrees, a lot agrees. Do you have some thoughts on that? Really? Apparently, Laud thinks he's a really good counter. Really? Hmm. Hey, oh, Laurie and Laud. What are you guys doing? Well, we've just been sitting here wondering, wondering about our faith in God. Lot's kind of still stuck on the counting thing. Oh, well, you know, that's not a bad thing to be stuck on, the counting thing. Our Bible story this week, we're continuing with our story of Abram and Sarai, and they're working with God. You remember last week how God sent them on a long journey to a new land and said, you need to have faith in me and do what I tell you to do. And Abram and Sarai did. They had faith, and they did what God asked them to do. This week in our Bible story, we hear how God says, Abram and Sarah, I have faith in me that I am going to give you family that will be so numerous, God said. It will be like 
trying to count the stars in the sky. You have so much family because of the blessing I give you, and you'll be a blessing as numerous as the stars in the sky. And in another place, God says, uh, as numerous as the stars in the sky and as numerous as sand on the beach. It's that numerous. So I was going to pour this out right here. Okay, Lod, start counting. Can you get in there and start counting those little grains? One, two, three, four, five. That's a lot. That's a lot to count. Oh, my goodness. God says to Abram and Sarah, my blessing to you is as numerous as there is sand uh, on the on the seashore as numerous as there are stars in the sky. That's pretty amazing But you just need to believe have faith in me that I'll do what I say I'll do says God What do you think about that Lod? He said he can only count to ten <laughs> <laughs> Well, so, so I don't it. yeah, oh. well should we roll he our got one to ten? Yeah, he did he did <laughs> should we roll Over our wonder time. cube and see about uh, what we wonder about our story? Okay, here we go I wonder, what did the Bible story teach you? Oh, it definitely taught me that God keeps his promises. We have to have faith that he keeps those promises. And I think I do. Abraham certainly did. Indeed. Yeah. He really did. I think so, too. I was like, what did I learn? Well, that God's blessing is so numerous. Sometimes it's beyond counting. Definitely beyond counting to ten. More than counting the sands on the on the seashore or the stars in the sky. That's amazing. Wow. Hmm. Can I roll one time? Please. Okay. Let's see. We hope you'll you roll yes. your wonder cube at home, too. I wonder, what is your favorite part of the Bible story? Oh, my favorite part was just thinking about the all of the sand that is in on the beach and by the ocean and that's just got to be a lot. And all of the stars in the sky? Yeah. God says to Abraham. That's a lot. That's pretty amazing. That is a lot. Yeah. Hmm. What shall we do? Okay. Pray? Let's pray. Repeat after me on the prayer. Dear God. Dear God, help me have faith. Help me have faith in you. In you. Amen. Amen. And it's time for our Bible story video. So come in close to make sure you see everything in our video. Thanks. Hi friends, I'm Samuel. Come wander with me. We're going on a journey of faith together. First, I want to introduce you to Abraham and Sarah, two very important people in our story today. Abraham and Sarah went on a long journey of faith with God. So what is faith? Faith is believing in God's presence and hope. Sometimes that can be really hard, but it's a gift to be with God. Abraham and Sarah's story shows us what it can look like to have faith in God's promises and to go on a journey with God. In this part of the story, Abraham hears God's voice and instructs him to leave all that he knows and go to a different land. Wow, I wonder how he felt. That sounds really scary to me. Last year, our parents told us that we had to move. I was so sad because I was leaving all of my friends. My mom kept reminding me that even though it was hard, I could make new friends where I was going. I decided to trust her. It helped things seem a little less scary. I wonder if Abraham felt kind of like how I did. Even though it might have been hard, Abraham and Sarah trusted God and decided to go. Abraham and Sarah left their home and had faith to go with God. God gave them some direction, but they didn't know exactly what was going to happen. Sometimes we just have to trust God's presence and listen to God's voice. We need to have faith that God is leading us to a place that is good. Abraham and Sarah's faith helped them to believe that God would be with them every step of the way. Abraham and Sarah went on a long journey of faith with God. One day, God invited Abraham outside and told him to look at all the stars. While Abraham was looking up, 
God promised him a family as big as the number of stars in the sky. That was a lot of stars. This was really hard to believe. How could this be possible? Abraham and his wife Sarah were already very old, and they didn't have any children yet. How would they have as many kids as there were stars? Even though he didn't know how it would happen, Abraham had faith and believed in God's promises. He believed that God's promises would come true, even if he didn't understand how. Abraham showed his faith by trusting God on the journey. Sometimes it can be really hard to want something that you can't have yet, even when you've asked God about it. Abraham and Sarah really wanted children, but they didn't have any yet. What are the things that you want for your life? I think that I want to be an astronaut one day. It'd be so cool to walk on the moon and step into the sky I see every day. I want to get on a space shuttle. Maybe even go to other planets one day. That would be such a cool job. Well, I may or may not be an astronaut someday. We'll have to wait and see. But I do know that whatever my journey is, it will be good because God will go with me and I can always have faith in God. Now it's your turn to wonder. Hi everybody, it's time for Arts and Crafts. And our Arts and Crafts this week have to do with stars. So in your week six baggie, you had quite a few little craft sticks um, and you have colored pencils and glue and you may color your sticks if you would like to color your sticks, but you don't have to. Then you're just gonna do a little, a little dab of glue here and make a V shape. We want that to face downwards. And then we're gonna make a, take two more sticks and make another V shape going across. So that's gonna be quite a bit of glue. And it does not have to be perfect because I can assure you mine is not going to be perfect. Sometimes we find that we're better at some crafts than others. And for some reason, this star has been a problem for me. But, so then you have two sticks going across. You got two, you got two V's essentially. One going down and one going across. And then we're gonna use our last stick to close it. But you have lots of sticks. You can arrange this however way you want. This might not be my preferred way to make a star, but it is what the directions say in your, in your packet. So we have a star, and then once that dries, if we get some string, you could hang them up and decorate. Now for the real fun, you also have a little baggie that has little glow-in-the-dark sticker stars that you could put in your room, on your wall, and at night, look at, up at your own design of stars. And they won't hurt your walls either. All right, thanks guys, have fun. Hi grown-ups, it's time for your spiritual practice this week. No, it's not just laying down on the sofa. We invite you to do that as well. But it's to go outside and take a look at the stars. That's what we're doing right now. We're looking at the stars. But there's a problem. It's dark. It's not dark, sorry. It needs to be dark, but it's almost better that it's not because we're talking about faith. I don't see stars, but I know they're there. 
So take some time this week and just go outside and look for those stars. Bye guys. Good enough? Hi everybody. Our time together today is coming to a close. Little reminder on our celebration chart. Don't forget to keep track of how we're celebrating. And we want to end today with a, um, a little breathing practice. And we're going to make a, to start, we're going to make stars out of our bodies. So what we want you to do is make a star with your body by standing up, spread your arms and legs apart, and then look up like you're looking up at the sky. Now take a deep breath in and say, when I look to the stars, when I look to the stars, I know God is with me. I know God is with me. Let's do that again. When I look to the stars, when I look to the stars, I know God is with me. I know God is with me. Now take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Bring your hands down and your feet together and look down at your feet and say, when I look at my feet, when I look at my feet, God goes with me. God goes with me. When I look at my feet, when I look at my feet, God goes with me. God goes with me. All right, guys, don't forget there's music after this. So sing along when we're finished and we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Cheers.